adventure. Been walking in for a good few hours now. Legs are starting to feel it. And it's actually the weekend coming up. The weather is beautiful. And I thought I'd do some of your other anglers are solid. So I've left the bottom of really awesome river for you guys who can't get here till the weekend. So I've walked up and I'm gonna not start fishing until, yeah, like I said, about um, got my tent, gonna be camping out for a couple of days and exploring some of the water up ahead. So absolutely stunning weather, completely nailed it on timing. And I've already seen a few nice fish, so I've got a feeling this is going to be an absolutely incredible adventure. Let's go. the walk in got all set up at camp here and about ready to go for a fish it's two o'clock now so it has been a bit of a mish to get in here um, but it's not to worry because the sun's setting around 8 p.m. now so I've still got plenty of time and hopefully with a bit of sun on the water that'll work a little bit of magic um, found a really cool campsite check this out So I got all my wood ready for the fire later on, but yeah, let's go find some fish and hopefully catch a fish. The weather looks absolutely superb, so I'm looking forward to it.
Woohoo! That was awesome. I put a little Adams out and bam, and that fish. It was interesting when it came, it did like a dead man, like a coffin kind of style move where it just went stiff and then drifted downstream. I thought maybe it had had a heart attack, but then it kicked off again and still had a lot more fight in it. Uh, yeah, that was a super solid fish. Really amazing. Eight pounder on the dry. Yes. Superb start to this mission. the first drift and then the second drift it was like actually yep another good fish pretty sick that Adam strikes again at the first drift the fish went up and had a look and wasn't too keen but the second drift I was like yeah I'll have that and then it ended up boosting over there and going all around the rocks um, I had to do a crossing it was pretty deep got over there managed to play the fish back to the side and yeah six and a half pounds so what a what a superb day's fishing I don't know if I've ever been this happy and being munched by sandflies. That was just superb. Uh, what an unreal day. That was interesting, I had a look and was like, nah. So, change flight. Single pheasant tail, no indicator. Hopefully I can see this take. I think this is gonna work. Didn't see the fly and then on that last cast I was watching my cast and the fish disappeared so it didn't actually work. Oh yeah, on the greedy dog fly. <laughs>
There you go Hamish, greedy dog fly, aka the badger fly, strikes. That's one of the flies I just tired this week. It's actually a pretty solid fish, I thought it was a six pound. Another six pound fish, epic. Here we go guys, beautiful fish. Six pound and it fell to the greedy dog. The fly that I tired off my dog. I thought that fish was a bit, a bit slabby, a bit average, but it's a beautiful six pound. They had similar colours to the eight and a half pound, the really long fish that I got last season, but superb. How awesome, and how awesome to catch one on the badger fly. And the greedy dog. <laughs> Wicked. The sun's gone down in the valley now, it's chasing the sun up. All gone now, so I'm not sure what that's going to do for the fishing. It's definitely brought out the sand flies, but what a sick afternoon, what a superb day's fishing and topped all off by catching one on the, the badger fly, the greedy dog fly, yeah, what a great day, absolutely awesome.